Okay. So, first thing for today is going to be equipment. Equipment in the sense of basically what you can expect as you play the game. You're expecting to get better weapons, you're expecting them to do more damage. You're expecting to get better armor. Now the way this will happen is either you're going to find stuff like pistols, shotguns, lying around, and these will be possibly mediocre, possibly absolutely amazing, depending on who the former owner was. But frequently you'll find the same kinds of things. So if you're wandering around in the cordon, you're going to find a lot of double-barreled shotguns, a lot of Makarovs, and a lot of ammo for them. And you can either choose to use what is in the area, or visit traders and stock up on ammunition and go out in little excursions, either to stashes or to wherever the game directs you next for jobs or for the main story. And one of the reasons that the excursion one can be a little trickier is if you're strapped for cash. If you're strapped for cash, I recommend just use what's available. Don't don't try and buy something you don't have a steady supply of ammunition for. So say if I went over to Sidorovich and he had an AKSU, which he should be able to sell about now. I don't have a consistent way to get ammunition for it. I could walk up to the military checkpoint here or down here and attack the military base but odds are I'm going to use more ammo there than I'm going to pick up so depending on where you go you're either going to need to already have the ammunition or to be able to resupply while you're there and for the most part, resupplying is not difficult for the first probably half of the game. It's all Eastern Bloc hardware, all Warsaw Pack. So if you find an AK that you really like, you can just have tons of AK ammo lying around. Now, there is a catch outside some tricks you may discover on your own once your weapons are damaged and your armor's damaged um that's basically it once it's damaged to the point it's no longer useful sell it for what you can get and buy a new one if it's a unique thing well it's not useful anymore so you'll have to sell it and that is usually fixed in mods. I don't remember if there was supposed to be a repair system in the game or not, but a lot of mods just add the repair system in, which does show up in later games. Uh, it's possible to repair armor, but not through a merchant. There's even a guy who has a dedicated handyman later in the game, and even he can't fix your stuff. One of the reasons that gets very important is, like for the shotgun, I've used it a bunch, the condition's gone down, eventually it's going to start jamming. Normally, especially later in the game, once a rifle or pistol, which honestly I don't use that often because they take up space, uh, once a rifle or some other weapon reaches this point, I usually trash it and go buy a new one. For armor, it depends. If I can trade something like this out and get a step up, 
like a stalker suit or one of the military armors, I might trade up. But by and large, what you have is what should be in the general area. If you find something that's better, it's your decision whether or not you want to pick it up and sell it because there's only one of it, or pick it up and use it until it breaks. A lot of the unique weapons and armor that you'll find, by the time you find them, they may be less than what you're already using. But other times it may be a huge step up. Like, I know where there's a unique suit of armor right now, assuming I didn't grab it and sell it, that you're told to go fetch for a quest. And it's absolutely abysmal compared to most armors in the game. Now, at this stage in the game, if you don't know where to pick up the Merc suit, um, it might be a step up, and you might want to run around with it for a little while. But as far as weapons go, once it's done, it's done. Once it starts jamming in firefights, sell it. Doesn't matter how good it is, it's going to start jamming eventually. Semi-automatic rifles and sniper rifles obviously degrade slower. But there are some rifles that, you know, there's a limited number of in the game, and if you grow really attached to it, it's, one of them is iconic for the series. Once you get it to the point where it's not behaving consistently, it's the same as the others. You sell it and you find something that either uses the same ammunition or go find one of the other instances. But on that note, we need to talk about mortality. By this point in the game, you've experienced it, and there's some notes that you may or may not know, and I'm just going to go and get out of the rain real quick. Alright, mortality. It's something that you experience very hard, very fast at the beginning of the game. You have your leather jacket, and you're probably getting ripped to shreds by bandits with shotguns and pistols, because neither of you have really great armor. The important, the two real important things to note with mortality, the first one is regardless of the difficulty setting you're playing on, it's ostensibly a level playing field. Whatever works against you will work against the enemy, at least against people. Mutants, it may not work the same, but against other people, if you're wearing something like the suit I'm wearing and you can take a shotgun blast at point blank, an NPC wearing the same armor will be able to take a shotgun blast at point blank. And that goes back to the damage and other stuff with um, equipment. Sorry, I got distracted by gunfire. With the different damages, there are shotguns that are going to do tons more damage than this, though there's a short list of shotguns, so that's not saying much. Um, but if you get almost murdered by one shot from someone in the vanilla game, whatever they're using you can pick up and you will, you have a good idea as to how well it's going to perform. 
one of the differences is with the difficulty setting, the way damage is calculated changes. And this isn't like Fallout or I'm trying to think of another game that I know for a fact does this. I know the Elder Scrolls series does, but that doesn't help too much. But for Fallout, as you increase the difficulty, enemies become damage sponges. You'll watch their health go down every single time, and they just don't die. Whereas they're dealing absolute freight trains of damage to you. Stalker doesn't play that game. When you're playing on Master Difficulty, the way the game is made harder, at least in the sense of combat, uh, is that when you're shooting at someone, your bullets, even if they hit, are less likely to deal damage. Now, when they hit, they deal the same damage they normally would. When enemies shoot at you on Master Difficulty, almost every single bullet deals damage. Whereas you may have to fire three or four shots before it does anything. If you line up a perfect shot with someone, and you fire a few shots, and they're not even staggered, then maybe you're just not dealing damage. Maybe you're not hitting. But at the early stages of the game, you have inaccurate weapons, and with increased difficulties, you're going to be shooting a lot at enemies and wondering why they're not dying. Once you make it the first you know, quarter into the game, once you get your first decent rifle, that will start to diminish. You'll start noticing that your shots connecting aren't dealing damage, but when they do connect, especially if you're using a sniper rifle later on in the game, it may be that you take three shots to down someone, but that third shot was the only one that dealt damage and just kills them outright. But you'll always have a threat of some description. There's not a true god-tier armor in the game. There's very close. But each armor has its own drawbacks, it will have its weaknesses, either because it's just heavy, or maybe it degrades faster. I know one of my personal favorite armors in the game, it degrades so quick that you basically can't get into a firefight. If you get into a firefight, you've lost half the durability on it. But on the flip side, it provides pretty good protection against radiation and a few other things. Whereas the heavy combat armors weigh a ton, first and foremost, and because they weigh a ton, depending on what you're doing, you may have problems with carrying back stash, stashes or artifacts to sell. And they have the downside of, if you just barely scraped enough money together to get it in the first place, when it stops becoming usable, you're going to have to downgrade. I'd honestly say, as advice going into the later game, find something you can consistently buy or can consistently find. Maybe not necessarily buy, but you know, you know there's a stash with one nearby, or you know that while this merchant sells it some of the time, this other merchant sells it almost all the time. That kind of stuff will happen. 
And if you see a firefight playing out that doesn't necessarily involve you, maybe pop out the binoculars and just take a look. See how the fight plays out. See what they're using. See how many shots it takes them to down each other. You'll learn a lot about the armors and weapons in the game that way. And if you see a firefight play out and everyone's using the same armor, watch the show. I mean, unless you're gonna run in and help, it might be best to just stay back and watch. I believe that is everything I can think of for mortality. But yeah, like, here. Thank you for being an example. That bandit just had a very terrible day. Because his garbage bandit jacket did not protect him at all from the AKs that the military is packing. And there are ways you can further mitigate how quickly you die. Uh, I showed, or er, er, Thorn, not Urgen, I showed Thorn off earlier with the plus 100% bleeding. Well, there's other artifacts that can act as this buffer against that. There are some that directly influence stuff like bulletproof capacity. Um, there's some that affect health regen. There's there's a lot that you can use to just kind of pad out what you what your buffer to death is. Uh, I would highly recommend if you haven't rebound or discovered it. Quick Bandage and Quick Med Kit are... Quick Bandage and Quick Med Kit are lifesavers. And in the next video, I'm going to explain why they can be lifesavers. But for now... I don't have anything else, and these boars are looking very angry.